All right, everybody. Welcome back to Kremiel's uh, Baldur's Gate 3 adventure. And right off the bat, I'm seeing uh, Shadow Hearth spells and uh, spell slots and whatever she got and stats. And I am thinking I may just respec her, but I'm. I'm I'll think about it, because if I want to make Shadow Heart not be useless with her current specialization, I would need to waste one spell slot every single long rest, just for magic weapon alone, so she has a decent melee attack. For the bonus uh, attack roll, okay? Other than that, I, I just kind of have to use Heat Metal, but we'll see. You know what? I will wait, because we are close to next level. And level 5 is usually when a lot of big stuff uh, just happens in the leveling trees, but yeah. Anyway, uh, last time we beat these ogres. We got the headband of intellect from the big dude. And let's actually open this one. Again, I may sip some coffee every now and then. Haste helm. Oh! Wait, that's actually really good. I'll give this to Karlak. That is straight up Karlak material. I what is this? Oh, it's my camp inventory. Wait, it's working. Oh, that's kind of nice actually. Oh, uh, for those of you that may not know, <laughs> the, the reason why I updated the mod list in the first place was because uh, my inventory did not work previously, so I kind of had to do it. All right. This is really good for Karlak because of momentum, okay? It gives us extra move speed, or rather extra movement for the first three turns at the start of combat, which is really good to just get Karlak into the mix, okay? What to do? Let me get some supplies, and I'm gonna be going backwards a little bit because uh, if you look at the map, Reach the goblin camp. If you do recall, we did save Saza, which I'm sure a lot of you do not agree with. Oh, we are right in the camp. This may be bad, but... Oh, a breastplate plus one. You know what? I'm not gonna steal. It's enough that I broke my oath. Let's not uh, start stealing now, okay? It's funny how nobody actually knows that I... Uh, Killed people inside here. Yes, yes. Again, I did not know that I am a paladin. Okay? Uh, you gotta remember, I've never played... Uh, what's it called? Dungeon and Dragons. Okay? This has never been popular in my country. Y'all gotta remember, it's an American game. Okay? It's not all that popular in Europe. Or... It used to not be. I'm sure it's popular now because of Baldur's Gate just kind of popular popularizing uh, the D&D style game quite a bit. Now that I've played Baldur's Gate, I'm pretty sure I would play uh, Dungeons and Dragons if I would have people to play with. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Saza. Okay. Things of state. I was wondering about your queen, Blackith. What tales of her reaches are <sighs> ah, got a stuffy nose today. Not sure why. Alright. We are going straight to Goblin Camp. And, like and after I see what's going on with them gobbles, I will venture into the jungle. Yes. Somewhere around there. Okay, just somewhere down there. Why am I... Oh, I'm stuck on the... I don't even know. What's that called? Is that a cart? I think you call that a cart? Okay, let's start from the front. And there's a bunch of people here, which... Honestly, I was not aware Aradin and the rest would come here. Because they're, they are usually not here when I am here. Okay, so whenever I've been here, they were never here. Let's see. I thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. 
Mm, I'm not gonna go with the honor route because I'm definitely no honorable paladin. I'm a nose breaker. I got somewhere else to be. You and me both. Gonna find the wizard who gave us the contract that got my people killed. A wizard? Left out all the important hmm. bits. Like, beware. Treasures beneath a pile of goblins. Interesting. Who was that contract, though? Your crew dead. Night Song. Hmm. There's a wizard in Boulder's Gate that will pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried around these parts. A gold in any use. Oh. All right. So, if we are going for the Night Song, uh, one thing I can let you guys know right now: if you've never played Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate. Uh, the Night Song quest will lead us into the lower part of the map, as in the Underdark slash Underside, the one which I have forgotten the name of. Yes, I'm not gonna be going down there just yet. Okay, first of all, let's do the goblins. Let's see if, um, you know. If we can get into the jungle, because I've never been there, and then maybe, just maybe, uh, before I actually finish this part of the story up here, I will let you guys know that I'm gonna explore everything, okay? Like I said, this is a long playthrough. I, I will quite literally explore everything before I move on with the act number two. Hmm. That said, I was never never aware Aradin is the one that would tell us where the Night Song is kind of located. Let's see. Where would I find the relic? Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. Huh. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back if you feel like dying. Sure. As soon as he heard uh. we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. With we do crew. have to find Holson. Most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught him to. The old codger didn't. Now, if I recall, Holson actually joins us as a party member. But at the same time, inside Goblin Camp, there is another person, which, if I recall, if we get Halsin with us, they do not join. Now, I'm not completely sure if I want Halsin, I'll be honest. But at the same time, I've never had either of them in my party. So, there is that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't have both of them. That's the problem. So, we're gonna have to make a choice. That's it. I'll leave that for when we actually get Halsen out. Or for when we get there. Because I may change my mind. I may just leave Halsen to die. You gotta remember, we are an Oathbreaker and we are a Fallen Angel. We are basically kind of neutral and don't, don't really give a fuck. Alright, let's just go with the number two. Yeah, just hand over the contract. I'll probably get the relic and maybe save the druid. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Come on. All right. We're wasting time. Uh, first of all, let's scavenge for loot. Hopefully, they kind of just move out of the way here, so I can actually touch these people that are downed. Oh, they just they just buggered off. All right. Time to loot. Ooh, goblin is drawing. What is that? I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Let's touch this real quick. The Night Song for preservation in Baldur's Gate. Alright. Uh, drawn in thick charcoal li lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures, a goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. What? 
So was that uh, showing us the true souls? I'm a little bit confused on that drawing, but it's fine. Let's go get some extra resources from these dad adventurers. Yes. Alright, now that we looted these people, time to go into the actual stronghold. Also, time to see what Saza got to help us with. I'll just use Saza to get in, even though I probably do not need it. At least it's some kind of civilization. Also, what I do know I do miss the gate, though. is that I recall seeing this. Fried fish at the docks. Okay, I'm gonna short rest here. Because I want to actually recover some of them spells. And I think I magic trans uh, magic weapon. Now I could magic weapon somebody else. That is a thing. Who would I magic weapon though? Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate to what if I magic weapon Kremiel? Not one in particular. That's gonna be interesting. I will magic weapon Kremiel. And then I will Blessing of the Forge. With an extra AC. Let me actually check the AC on Kremiel. It's 18, so that would put us up to 19. Not sure why Lazel's randomly jumping. Do this. So Kremiel is just Omega buffed right now. He's got 19 AC. Plus 4 strength. Plus 5 saving throws. We got metallic gloves. We got them um, strength. And uh, technically, we have another attack roll. Which I'm not seeing. Not sure why. Where's my magic weapon? Because I am very much confused. How do I check that? Because it's not showing up anywhere. What's next? This is a concentration spell. But it's not showing up anywhere. It did waste a spell slot though. That That's weird. No. I may have to switch off of the forge thing. Ha <clears throat> Let me check my weapon. Does it show anything? It does. Okay, so it's on the weapon itself. Okay. So we got we magic weapon, which gives us an extra attack roll, apparently. Let's check this well. The well looks unremarkable. Let's try this one. Hopefully we... Ob obviously we are dumb AF. Because we broke our oath. <laughs> we fail. It's fine. Dry stones line the wall, but the darkness below is impenetrable. It's fine. We're going down the well. If we can. Disappears into the well. After a moment, you hear a soft clink, not a splash. There's no water. Alright. Going down the well. Tread lightly or become dinner. Alright, we got some skelly boys. Now here's the thing. Technically... I could make... Use of some undead people here, no? I just need to figure out how exactly this works. Will this work? Nope. Because it's undead. Let's see now. Hmm. What if I pick him up? It's a skeleton. If this dude just jumps out of my inventory, that's gonna be weird. That's a great sword. Is it better than my own though? No. Uh, I'm sorry. The Shadow Heart just break concentration somehow? Very weird. Very weird. Yeah, I think I'm switching off the forge thing. 
Damn, I've never seen this cave from this angle. Alright, let me turn this off. There's a backpack up there. I have never seen this cave from these angles that I'm seeing it right now. It's so good. Alley up. What? Ether cap. We woke something. Alright, we are webbed. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. This, uh, I don't recall actually ever being here. Is this cave different? Did they change the cave? Phase spider. What the flip? Uh. It, what, it, what are these? Wait, hold up. I recall there being Skelly Boys in this cave. We got Ether Cap. What the fuck is that? What is that? There's gotta be some modded stuff. I'm, I don't think this is in the actual game. Do let me know if this is in the actual game. Because I do know there are some mods that add some extra creatures. But damn, that is my first time seeing an Ether Cap. Also, face spiders. I have seen spiders before. But not these boys. They blew, they got a mark on their... Butt. Big fat butt. Time to push my luck again. Alright, who's first? Concentrate. Can I... I can. Okay. Well, if you're gonna... Oh, there's another one right there. We got the netter cap there. We got the netter cap here. Yes. Also, something that may blow up, no? I'm not sure. Alright, how do I do this? We'll see. How do I do this? Technically, I could just shoot that one. But at the same time, I would like to do more damage. Just hit multiple freaking targets, because you never know. But do I want to go up front with Gale? I don't think I got a choice right now. Hopefully he can shoot from here. I just realized this spiderweb bridge is kind of in the way. Okay, I'll try Mel's acid arrow, but at the same time I do got to check if they are immune to acid. See? Poison. Acid. Now my question is, how is acid different to poison? Is it the same type of damage or is it kind of different? I know, actually, now that I think about it, if I recall, acid does in fact reduce your armor while you're sitting in it. So poison would technically be different because poison is just a dot, a damage over time effect. So this, These dudes are... Very resistant to poison damage. This one is infested. I do gotta make a... Just kind of a habit to check my opponents before I start dealing damage or doing anything. Because I know for a fact I am missing a lot of stuff because I do not read everything. There's a bunch of stuff to read on screen that just happens that I... I yeah, like... Remember, if you're if you're here directly from the last video, like right now, uh, when I picked Shadowheart up with Lazel when the Githyanki just destroyed us, there was an effect from an arrow, if I recall, that just said you can't pick this person up, basically. And I was confused as to why I couldn't pick up Shadowheart, because I just used the the uh, what's this the help action. So yeah. I do need to read, because there's just a lot of stuff to read in this game. And I am used to just kind of playing other games, like League of Legends, for example, where reading is not all that necessary anymore, because I'm kind of just playing on auto mode lately. So this guy, 
needs to not be hit with melee. Okay. Wait, this is removed by fire or acid? Ooh, I was gonna use fire or melt acid arrow anyway. So if I melt right now, oh, why do I... Oh, no. Hold up. Oh, the freaking phone. I gotta move a little bit in this direction. Alright, do it. Got him. See, this is why I have to read. If I did not read this, I would have never known. <laughs> Alright, Shadowheart. I need you to summon spiritual weapon down there. It's 18 meters, so technically... Technically... I should be able to summon down there. Now what I wish this would allow me is that when I summon, for example, a Great Axe... I'll try. So when I summon a Great Axe, for example, this Axe would have Cleave on multiple targets. I don't know if that's true, but I am hoping that is the case. I've never summoned a Great Axe before. Alright, time to check. Also time to use a Firebolt. I'll keep smacking the Ether Cap. Okay. Higher Intelligence does help. Okay, let's end turn on Gale. Before we do anything else. I don't think I can do anything else. Okay, phase. Got it. Ethereal jaunt. So they got Misty Step, basically. Interesting. We got teleporting spiders. Yikes. That is that is a different kind of bad. Alright, Car Carlac, you got a dash. Get right up in there. Why are you going down there instead of... Ah! In webbed. I need to examine this bridge. The spider thing. It doesn't say anything, uh, no. It says nothing, why am I in webbed? I know it's some spider web, but at the same time... It's acting as a bridge. I don't know, it's a little bit weird, but sure, I will take it. So, once on, once on each of your turns, when you attack with a claw using the attack action, you can make an additional claw attack as part of the same action. Interesting. I'll try this for once. Wait, is this guy still infested? No. Does not look like it's infested. It's a web walker. Alright, smack him. Boom. Let's go. Yikers. Alright, uh, Asterion? Can you hit that? You can, but not like that. Kinda just wanna bloodlet this guy. But it's fine. Asterion doesn't really need to move. That's the thing. That's the good thing. Let me hamstring shot this dude. Boom. Hey, that's a crit, baby. Can I use bloodletting? Could I jump on top of web? Double movement, though. Would this affect me? Oh, we're about to find out. Actually, do I want a bloodlet here? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Let's go. Okay, I'll let the spiritual weapon and these others deal with those. I need... No, actually... Actually... Minus 5 HP, oh my god! Okay, I think it's time I Shadow Meld right in here. Or I could maybe teleport right there and try to deal with this Ether Cap, but... At the same time, I don't know if there's anything else behind. 
This cave is way bigger than I remember. Like, way bigger. Are dungeons randomized? This is nothing like, like what I remember. Literally, extremely different. <laughs> Quite literally, extremely different. Alright, let me try not poison. It's wisdom, but at the same time, I, I kind of want to just make use of some range at some point. Yikes! I do need to somehow unbreak my oath. Ah, cringe. Again, I was not aware I am breaking my oath when I destroyed those people. Okay. Also, I was not aware I am even a paladin. So, yeah, do gotta remember that. Before you judge me. <laughs> Time to strike. Okay, Lazel, do the magic missile. Decent damage. It's got 3 HP left. Okay, I think we'll got this. Bone chill him. Please do a 3 at least. Nice. Okay. Will I am. Yes. I need Karlak to get in there. The second Karlak gets in there, I will miss the step with Will. I feel like Karlak and Will kind of just go well together. Oh, this one needs to be smacked. I need the spiritual weapon to move. Nice. I hate that camera angle, by the way. Okay. I think it's about time I kind of just misty step around with Gale. I need to see if there's anything else in the area. Does not seem to be. Hopefully this one dude over here doesn't just randomly get the Gale in a single turn, even though it could happen. Mm. If I jump here, I am risking that spider just hitting Shadowheart. I do have 18 AC though, but at the same time, 18 has proven to not be enough. I'm getting destroyed by... A lot of things. 55, sure. I'll just sit here and use range attacks. Oh. That mother yucker spits poison. Okay. I may have just said fish in French. I'm sorry. Alright. We're the claw. So, claw target. Once on each of your turns, when you attack with a claw using the attack action, you can make one additional claw attack. Uh, why can't I do the claw? Is it because I am using a weapon? So I would have to go remove my weapon to make use of the claw? Question mark? I'm confused. I'm pretty sure the weapon is just way better because it's bludgeoning and bludgeoning is just kind of the nuts. Also, this weapon just heals me, so why would I not use it? Okay, Claw has proven to not be the play. Surely I can fly over there. Come on. How is this not enough movement, brother? You are flying. Okay, for some reason I had to go here instead of just being smart and going from here to here because the game would not allow it for some reason. I don't know. Weird. Anyway. Uh, let's see now. Can I jump somewhere where there is blood? There is no blood anywhere. Alright, Asterion, I need you. Get in a little bit closer somehow. This web is pain. Okay. 
Let's make sure I don't accidentally click Karlak. Because I can hit her. <laughs> 60%. Yikes. It's a 60 miss. It is. Yes. Yes. 30. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean 30? Uh, all right. Get me closer. Never mind. Yeah, this is pain. I I could just shadow meld, but I don't want to shadow meld. Okay. I don't want to shadow meld for this alone, because you never know. I may need it later. This is. Not hard to deal with. I don't want to waste my things. Says he while he wasted Lazel's uh, thing. Do I want to do my Misty Step? I actually don't. I'll just Eldritch Blast if it's in range. It is. Alright. Got him. Pretty sure I saw something down there. Oh, it's the the spider web. Okay. How do I hit you? Okay, I'll just do this. Sure. We got 34 HP to go through. Um. Oh, I can teleport all the way over there. If I teleport there and there's something randomly trying to whoop my ass on that side, it's gonna be cringe. This one is obviously kind of just going for Gale, so let's move him out of the way. Uh, I think... I think... I just cure wounds here. Just heal Shadowheart. Come on, crit. Eh. Yeah, guy was definitely going for Gale. Why do you keep webbing? What the hell? He's trying to get the melee. Ah. Yes. My dude is infested. Gotta remember. Let's keep Karlak away from for now. Oh my god. How is a floating spiritual weapon affected by a web and difficult terrain? That makes no sense to me, but sure. Come on, do the jump. Good. Alright. Hey, nice. Nice. Let's get him in range. I don't really care for the rest. It's fine. They can sit here all they want. What I do need, though, is Gale to not miss. And I think this is just the best play. Got him. Ooh. Wait, what? Swap position with a target each time you cast a cantrip. Sorry, what? Huh. So I'm kind of just supposed to do this now? Question mark. Okay. No, you don't. You need to sit there. All right. Now Carlac can finally hit him if necessary. Oh my god, all the random ass webbing, bro. Okay. 
Uh, Karlak can do nothing. Can't control me. Oh, that's bad. Wait, does range attack does not does range attack not count towards the madness thing? Ooh, this could potentially be very bad. Ay ay ay. Man. Alright. I need to just try to not get hit by Karlak. That's what I need. Oh, I'm so bad. Can't stay idle. I could have done something else. I am pretty sure you can get rid of Madness if I just push her. Or help, if you know what I mean. Of course, it's gonna break my jump. Oh my god. Alright, do I have to get Yankee jump there? You know, I think this is the time where we just get jump. Though I'm using my action anyway, but it's fine. If I get to action surge here... I know what, it's fine. If Gale dies, he dies. He just gets revived by... Let's, let's not leave Gale to die. I'll just do this. If I grease and Karlak falls, surely that fixes my issue. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I think that's actually better. I actually think that is better. Okay, we got rid of that one. And Karlak surely can't get there. What the fuck did you just throw at me? I'm sorry, did you just... Wait. Is there a way to see what she just threw? Because I'm pretty sure she just wasted a valuable bomb. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, that madness thing? We gotta make sure we remove these. So let's give these to shoot to Kremiel. Let's give the great axe to Lazel. Let's just drop the shield. Okay, never mind. Let's not drop the shield. Let's drop the leather gloves. Why can I not drop? I'm still in combat. What? I wonder if this is worth the cost. Why am I still in combat? Who am I in combat with? I will ascend. What? I cannot die. All right. Can you like move away from fire? Am I still in combat with the? Uh, Karlak? Oh my god. <sighs> okay, can I grease from here onto Karlak? Mm, not really, no. Man. It's kind of annoying. Yikes. Okay. I need to get rid of the madness thing on Korlak. Like now. Oh my god. Bro. Okay. Can we please just get rid of madness? I need to push Karlak. I just need to push Karlak at this point. And hope for the best. Please just work. Or just... Yeah, of course athletics fail, but what if... No. No. What if I grapple? <laughs> Zero. Yikes. I don't want to hit Karlak. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Hmm. 
it's a wisdom save, that's the problem. Because if you look at Karlak's wisdom, it's only a 10. My faith will protect me. I'm almost tempted to just give that to Lazel, but... Yeah, let's not. Because I kind of need Karlak in the front. Hmm. I could heat metal and make her drop the weapon, but at the same time, I'm, I don't, do I really want to waste the spell slot? Not really. Okay, whose turn is it? I can't even catch my breath. I, I really don't have to waste my my strong stuff. This, this madness thing is annoying, bro. I did not think it would be this, this annoying. For no reason. On the move. I need somebody to just get there and kind of push her. Maybe that would help. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry, what? Oh, it's the fire. All right. Please move. I'll just do this. Uh, let's see now. I'll just move Gale here. Get him out of the way. Okay, finally she broke through. Oh no, she's going into madness again. Just stop, bro. Okay. This could have been bad. Like, really, really bad. Good here, I hope. Where? Okay. Greater potion of healing does help. I feel like I... I feel like I use one, but... Not just yet. Do I want a prayer now? Not really. Direct me. I'll just use one potion on Gale. And I think that's it for uh, for right now. This this random madness incident on to Carlac is kind of a pain. We got this apprentice backpack here. I'll take the alchemist fire. I'll try to not get stuff on Carlac. Hmm. Let's read this real quick. Dark Justicers, yes. Okay. I'll switch back to Cremiel. Well, I'll see what this Kelly got. Nothing. I will pick you up. Another big one. I will take it. What is a potion doing inside the cocoon? A bronze ring. I don't think that's any good, but... Nope. Alright. Let's see how big this cave is. Ooh, kinda big, actually. Kinda big. Teleport the party over. Okay. Can't give up now. There's a random wall here. What is that? Hmm. Let's see where this leads. I've never been here. Oh, it's immune to slash. Damn! Okay, Karlak, hopefully. Let's go. Hopefully. This is bludgeoning. There we go. There we go. 
Why can't I go? Come on. Okay, let's see. We got some torches, short swords, wooden chest, and the leather. That is leading to another chest. Perception. Hmm. Traps? Is it though? Oh. Alright. Uh, Astarion, you are the man for this one. Definitely the highest dex user. Pretty sure. Come on. Here we go. And Highcliff's blueprints. What is this? A great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements, and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, saucer bark. The saucer bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. They call for saucer bark. There's only one place I'm finding a saucer tree: the Underdark. Oh, okay. So Stereon knows about the Underdark. Huh. That's the place where I was... Uh, yeah, the, the one place I didn't, did not remember the exact name of. Steelforged Sword. Huh. Infernal Iron. What the hell? Alright. Um, Let's give this to Kremiel. That's very interesting. I will uh, send this to Kremiel and this to... Uh, let me send this to Kremiel first. 611. Got a couple of Skelly Boys in here. Let's read this. Underdark. Okay. So we get Infernal Iron in Underdark? Question mark. I'm assuming, judging by this note. Okay. So we we kind of just kind of have to go there, no? <laughs> I am thinking we kind of just have to go there now. I was trying to avoid the Underdark for as much as possible because it's kind of a pain. It's kind of a pain. There's a lot of strong stuff there. I, I'm not gonna go there until I, in, until I actually reach level 5, by the way. Just to let you guys know, because I know there's a lot of stuff that is very hard to deal with down there. Let me throw this onto Lazel for now. Let's see what she got to say about this short sword. Nothing. How about this axe? Nope. Will? The pride of the gate. He's using rapiers, so this is useless. Anyway, I was really hoping the still for sword right now would be useful for something. It's not even useful for Gale to sucky sucky on. Annoying. Very annoying. What if does a Starion use dagger? I forgot. So oh, he has a dagger, but what if short sword? Is this better? It is. Um. Eh? Is it better? Not necessarily. It's a 1d6 plus 5. Other one is a 1d4 though. It's plus 4 though. Plus 4 piercing, plus 5 piercing. I don't know, I think this one is is better, but I'm not completely sure. What if I just do this? Okay, and then I double attack. Because you can dual wield. Yes. You can, in fact, dual wield. Why is this locked? Randomly. Alright. This appearance editing thing is very annoying. 
It's, it's actually very annoying. Okay, we found this. I've never found this place before. This is the first time. Again, I am very much taking my time with the exploration. These boots have seen everything. Because there is a lot of stuff I have not seen in this game yet. So, might as well. So, whoever was here was a blacksmith. I can do this, but my question is why? Why am I doing this? I'll just do it because I can, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Let me use the torch. Get some light in here. Read the approach something. Mm, something about dragons. Golden way passes through Russian men through the ways of the Horde land. And on to the continent of Karatur. A land of empires, dragons and beasts I've never dreamt of. Huh. He claims that Rashomon is nothing compared to Thai and invited me to visit the court of the Zulkirs. Interesting. That is not something I am familiar with. No, no, no. Camera way too close. Okay, anything in here that is actually useful. Ooh, I will take that. I will take that too. I should probably click on these. Thank god I did. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Let's see. I will click the two and the threes. I'm not clicking the ones. Uh, it's showing up there on the wooden trunk itself. Alright. I think that's it for this place. Let's see what's up there. Up there is... A lever. I don't even know where I am. I may just randomly find myself inside Goblin Stronghold. <laughs> I've never been here. Again, I don't know where this leads to. I'm just finding some random stuff. Alright, what is this letter? Some interview. Alright, you guys can read that if you will, if you want. I'm not gonna read it. Let's use the lever. Hopefully nobody attack. I don't know what that did. Where am I? What the hell? That was unexpected. I think we still got some places where we have not explored though. So let me go back. Yes. Let's go back into this random cave beneath the well. Where is the wall that we broke? Oh. There we go. Is there another door here? No. Alright, I think I just used torch, because it's a little bit annoying to see. Just a little bit annoying. Alright, Grandpa, time to speed this up a little bit. Alright, so we were here previously. That goblin got nothing that we may want or need. This cave is way different from what I remember. Ah, oh my god, what is that? What the flip? Phase Spider Matriarch? Predator of the Ethereal Plane? What the fuck? This is the first time I see this. What is this random boss-like... Just... 
Elite Mother Yucker. Look at that beauty though, holy! <laughs> Looks kinda nice actually. Alright, we're teleporting the entire party here, we need it. And let's see, we gotta kinda just prepare for this one. It's got 179 HP. It's probably got multi hits because it's level 5. It's got some babbies over there. What is that? Dark Amethyst. I want it. It's got a couple of babbies down there. Let me just smack some spiders from over here, if at all possible, and maybe just maybe avoid the one. For as much as possible. Okay, I'm teleporting the party here. Hopefully that... Mother Yucker doesn't randomly attack from all the way in the back. Let's see now. I don't have enough range. Yikes. Can I get enough range without... Uh, getting smackered by... Mama Yark. Let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, what now? Oh my god. Um. 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 He's got, he's got a whole lot of babies. <laughs> not good. Very not good. Luckily, Carlac can just get in there. Um. Okay. So. We just smack, I guess. Can I use... No, I can't. Because it's bonus action, and I just used the bonus action. Alright. We're doing this. Uh, it's got some blood. It's simple toxin, never mind. Crit, please? Damn! Right, I'm not sure what is up with the fire, but let's try to get away from fire. I'm gonna have to waste some resources over here. We got some spider web in the bag. It's kind of a pain. So let me get rid of it. Let me get rid of it. Because that mother yucker is coming towards me and it's... It's very bad. It is very bad. Just getting a bad feeling. I'm just saying. Is there a way I can make Lazel get closer? Not really. Hmm. I do want the extra. The extra armor class. I'm gonna just rush Lazel through this. If at all possible. Get her as close to that one. As humanly possible. The, the extra HP losing is pain though. I'll just do the thing. Get some HP back. Oh boy. I I feel like I just need Embrace of the Fallen soon. As in maybe right now. You know what? I'll just do it right now. Come on, give me the wings. Okay, can I fly all the way over there? I can. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to smack. I got fire damage now because I got a torch. Also, I'm doing a little bit of necro. We're switching back next turn. It's fine. We do have to deal with this mother yucker as well. Ooh. This is painful, bro. Okay. Do I use a maul 
Or do I use a halberd? You know what? Let's use a halberd this time. Can I make it so that spider attacks this? I'm just hoping. Also, this one may just hold that other spider for a long time. Hopefully, the matriarch attacks the spiritual weapon. That is what I am hoping for, anyway. Did this web just randomly... I thought it came back, bro. Okay. Had me worried a little bit. Kind of want to jump, but I cannot jump. So I'm going to have to dash. So I'll just dash here. I need a more favorable position. Gale's definitely in a bad spot, though. I need to kind of just TP Gale out of the way. So we're going right here. Hopefully, this one can't just teleport here. Alright. That's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Jesus, and they can all teleport. Oh my god. <sighs> At least they are doing the biggest favor I could have hoped for. And they're going for the spiritual weapon instead of anything else. Oh, that scared me a little. I thought the, the matriarch just teleported here. Okay. Can we move this out of the way, please? Okay. Karlak. I, I really need the rage. I really need the rage. We're going for the beast. Because it's the only one that actually makes sense. Right now, anyway. And then we dash. And I'm gonna dash all the way over there if I'm allowed. Alright. Karlak, hold this mama down. Where are you going? Why are you going? Why are you going there? <laughs> She's dead, by the way. Because of that. Why did you go all the way over there? That is cringe. I don't actually think I clicked all the way over there, but it's fine. I'm hoping Asterion can teleport. No, that's way too much ground to cover. Okay, can we hit any of those bobbies from over here? I can. Excellent. So we'll do that. Starion, deal with the bobbies. Don't really have much of a choice, honestly. I'm gonna try to snipe all of those little ones. I need to... Make sure Will snipes the, the big mama with the Scorching Ray. I don't know if this is in range or if I can even hit from here. I can't. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Maybe. Nope. Uh, I am risking going closer, but you know what? I think I'm not going to be moving in closer. Not this turn. Not with Will. Okay, I'll move with Lazel. And I think... I think I try Magic Missile. If it works, sure. If not, well, it is what it is. I need to read again. It's very low int, so Lazel could do a lot of damage here. If it actually hits. It, it's too far still. Uh, I'm just gonna do Tears Protection. I should have checked if my bow can reach, but it's fine. Alright, is there a world in where getting Kremiel right up here is worth it? Hmm. Let's see, can I use flight again? If I do this. It's not enough movement. Because I just wasted my movement. Eh. Okay, how far am I allowed to do this now? Not far enough. I should have just moved normally. Ah. Cringe. 
It's fine. I'll just range attack, hope it actually hits. It's 30%. And it hits somehow. I can shadow meld right in there. I'm not gonna do it though. Gotta remember we still have this mother yucker. Oh my god, she's definitely dead by the way. Unless we get a major heal off, like right now. Though I am pretty sure I cannot. Either that or a sanctuary. Can I sanctuary from over here? I cannot. How about this? No, it's 18 meters. Uh, yeah, this is bad. This is like really bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I have to shield the fate on Kremiel. And hope she doesn't die. Because Karlak is definitely dead on next hit. And... Uh, actually... Yeah, let's not do it right now. Okay. Grandpa, what do you have for me? Nothing. Nothing from over here anyway. What if though? If I teleport here and the matriarch just teleports onto Gale, I am so dead. But I'll do it anyway. If I do this, 35, because is this anti... Hold up. Nullified poison, but this is acid. Weird. Oh my god, how are you too far still? It's fine, I just fucked up. Why did I click that again? Yeah, I don't know. I wish I had cleave. Okay, at least one of them is down. There's another one? Oh no. Nice. Very nice. That's very bad actually. <laughs> Please don't hit. Oh my god! Oh, it's teleporting backwards. Uh oh. Okay, is there a world where Astarion can help me with more than just these? Please kill it. Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> yeah, okay. Alright, how do I do this? There's this one random spider over here and it, it's out of range. Man, this is pain. Can I throw the potion onto Karlak from here? I can. Path is interrupted. If I throw it here, she still heals, no? I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. There we go. I want to save this because I may need the damage. What's this? Oh, this is cringe. I'll just have to do this, but... Swift and lethal. Yeah. Alright, Lazel. Get in there. Make way. Surely there is a better way to fight this. I just failed it horribly. I feel like I need to action surge here. And I feel like fire is the play. Hopefully it reaches. Okay. 
I'll just do this, and I hope I flame the the web. Oh my god, bro! Ain't no way! Ah. Uh. Okay. Please, Vele, hit this. We have fire. I just clicked. Why is it not? I can fly again. No, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Fearful. What? Failed a saving throw. Huh. Well, that one was feared for a quick second. Not more. <laughs> Alright, how, how far can you go? I think that's the furthest I can take, Shadowheart. Currently, anyway. Uh, can I hit from over here anything? Mm, nope. You know what? I didn't want to do the thing, but I'll do the thing. It's fine. I'm kind of grouping up over here. Maybe bad, but it's fine. Alright, Gale, I wasted your turn previously. Let's not waste it right now. This is a little bit blocked, but hopefully... Gale does not fudge this up. Like Lazel did. Okay, I'll... Take the 22 damage, but I was hoping you flamed the spider web with the, the chromatic orb AoE area, the zone, which didn't happen. Anyway, this one spiritual weapon is amazing value, dude. Alright, I feel like I just pop another one down. Yikes. Omega yikes. All right, we need this. <sighs> Please don't get in webbed. Okay. Somehow I'm 49. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Thank you for actually working. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, will this reach the... Nope. I'll just shoot the little one. Luckily, this does in fact reach. I don't remember. Do the little ones actually teleport all the way over here? I think they do. I still need a Stadion to deal with them, though. And I need Will I Am. To be, if you know what I mean. Okay, are you M? Or rather him. I'm not gonna flame now. Because that could be bad. What I will do though is do the Eldritch Blast. 35. Jesus. And it misses. Luckily it's a normal action. Ay -ay -ay. This is so very bad. Jesus. Can I help myself get rid of poison? No. I just have to check. Everything is bad currently. Uh, a simple toxin. That may be why it's very bad. Question is, is that it? Nope. Man, I got nothing. <laughs> I'll just try this. Okay, it's obviously missing on nine percent, but yeah, I had to try. All right. Is there a world in which I hit this? 
Let me see if I can throw a little bit of something in there. I could throw a bomb. Or I could throw a portion of greater healing. On the Karlak. Boom! That's a lot of healing. Yes. And I think we fly in closer. Or... I think I need to get rid of those spiders like now. So I just fly in there. Keep in mind that if they hit me, they will probably be feared. I say probably because I don't know. Combat Extender. Hmm. That's gotta be a mod. Okay. Is there a world in which Shadow Heart is actually useful here? Let's try to hit. This could be bad. Keep that in mind. This could be very bad. Sure. What if piercing shot? 25. I don't think this hits the web. Okay, critical miss. How? Did I not turn that off? I just don't like seeing them, okay? <laughs> it's gonna miss either way, but I just don't like seeing crit misses. Okay, can I heal Karlak from here? I can. Good. Karlak just needs to not die. Okay. I need Gale's damage output to just be crazy on this one. Because that's the only way I win. That is quite literally the only way I win. Okay, what? So Karlak is in webbed? Confusion. Alright, let's try to hit. Somehow a 45% on Karlak hits, but... Uh, a 60% or a 90% just misses on others. That is so weird to me. Okay. Where is the other spider? Ah. It's still a 90%. Got him. Alright, we got some blood down there. Which means I can Crimson Blink. Get him closer. Okay, I think I can just climb up. Very good. Alright, now can I bloodlet the spider? No. Not in range. Not in range. Okay, it's fine. No holding back. Thirty-five. A thirty-five percent chance. But it's three hits. So I could get lucky on some high damage. Never mind. Or I could miss them all because yes. I was trying to jump over Toxin and I accidentally went inside. Sadness. Okay. 35. I'll try to lacerate. Never mind. Can I still try? Nope. I'll try hamstring, never mind. <laughs> um, did I not just turn that off? I did. Weird. Okay, can I please see above? Alright, Crimeo. Uh, I am in webbed. I could do this, but I'm not gonna do that. Somehow I am able to hit the uh, spider web, I think. But I can't hit this. I think. And that is the 1%. What if I lay on hands and I do... I do 8 Necrotic. Never mind. Sh 
sure. This is not an aberration, is it? It doesn't say. It's a monstrosity. Does aberration count as monstrosity? Question mark. I do not know. Guess I'll try this. It's probably the highest hit I got right now. Because I'm in webbed. And it actually hits. It's 5 damage is still damage. Thirty. Damn it, man. Twenty? <laughs> sure. Damn, man. Come on. Alright, Gale. You're him. That's a lot of damage. That is why I like Gale. And I think I'm far enough away to not get hit by anything. With Gale. Okay. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. That is extremely bad, actually. That is extremely bad, actually. Can I please... Can I please click here? Thank you, game. Alright, I'm in whipped, but it doesn't matter. I just need to get in there. Jesus. Okay, does Astarion have sneak from here? No. I don't have advantage. I do have blood, though. Please, no toxin. Thank you. Can I bloodlet from here? No, not enough movement. Wait, that's a melee? What? <laughs> Had me confused for a sec. 35, Jesus. Okay, we hit those. Somehow I did a double hit. I did a little... A little bit of piercing. Okay. I will take it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I think I just go into melee and try to hit it. At this point. 12. Jesus! Okay, I'll just try this because it's higher damage. Just in case. Never mind. Oh, brother. Sure. Lazel will have to try to. Never mind, never mind. Stand in my way. But can I fly though? That's a big fat. No. <laughs> As in, I cannot get in range. Even though I can fly. We got a 30. We got a 20. I'll have to try the 30. Nice! Nice, that was 18 damage right there. Very cool. Very cool. I'll try this just because it may turn up to work. It didn't work. Piercing shot did not in fact work. I was hoping I gaping wounds them, but nope. Matriarch, matriarch is tanky as all hell. What is reduced? Oh my god. Gale, what are you doing? Okay, who's enlarged? Will is enlarged. Shadowheart is enlarged. Luckily for me, Karlak was unaffected because out of range. Ah, damn it, Gale. Who, what? Wait. Something happened, I don't know what. I saw something that was... Weird. <laughs> okay, please hit. Thank you. 
for being close. Oh no, she's about to spawn some more bobbies. I don't want that. I definitely do not want that. That is very bad. I can hit those, nice. I'll try to smack as many bobbies as I can. I definitely need to get rid of those. Luckily I noticed. Let's see, can I hit from here? Is is this out of range? This could be out of range. Yeah, this is very much out of range. Scheiße. <laughs> we need to just kind of run in there. Get as close as possible. Thank you for not getting poisoned. Okay, can I fly by? Do a drive-by? Not really, no. Can I get in close for a melee, though? I think... Uh, technically, I could just... I am confused. It's fine. I think I'll try the Profane Smite. Or... I do have Arsonist Oil. But do I want to waste Arsonist Oil on that? Uh, wait, no, I don't, actually. That is a very bad idea. What if I use this? 35, 35... Uh, surely I just tried a profane smite with a torch. Um, very bad. Very bad. Okay, do you have enough range to hit that? Why am I unable to hit that? For some reason, game just says no, even though I am in range to hit those. That is so weird to me. Is it 9 meters? No. Damn it. What if I move in closer? Is this 9 meters? Ow. Barely just not it. Barely. Damn. Does range increase with level 2? No, also I don't have a spell slot. It's fine. Alright, Gale, you will have to do the thing where you teleport right there and just get rid of babies. Okay, 1, 2, and 3. There we go, and hit one for the mommy. There we go. Oh my god, how do you not kill those, bro? <sighs> it's three die. Oh, it's two to five. Why does it say six to fifteen, then? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Yikes, question mark? Uh oh. Okay. Hopefully they don't get a turn right now. They don't. Thank God for that. Alright. I think I just do the reckless. The obvious good choice here. And let's see. I got a sneak attack. Which obviously misses. Can I bloodlet? Barely no! Barely no! I'll just move in here and hope I get a bloodlet. Never mind. What if I... Flourish? No. How is this not... You're literally up her ass. Just poke, bro. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. I'll take the 45. I will try this. Hopefully she can't push. Never mind. How about a melee? 35. 30? I'll try a lacerate. Okay. How about a pommel? Damn. 
Okay, that's 12 damage. What if I... Do I not have my weapon? What happened to my weapon? Huh. Okay, uh, the little ones hit for less, so I will move Kremiel out of mommy's way, but I am in webbed. Oh, cringe. Searing smite. Try it. Never mind. Alright, I'll just move in close and thunder wave here. I'll do the, the, the level 2 thunder wave. That does more damage, no? I need to read. Hold on. Deals additional 1 to 8. Okay. Surely. Got him. Okay. That was the smart choice. And now we reckless because we can. Carlac is just... Yeesh! Five turns! This could be very bad. I'm sorry, but what? Anyway. That was a 64! I was a 64. I'm, I'm just saying. Jesus, bro. You are in there. She is with the back turned. Just hit him. Alright, can I please get rid of this big mama spider already? Holy. Actual pain. Please. Oh my god. All right, Gale. Come on. One. <laughs> One HP, bro. Uh. Thank you. That was the bloodletting. <sighs> okay. Wow. What? This is. Definitely modded now. Okay. We have found some new stuff. This was definitely a modded creature. This is not a base game. Ain't no way. Because we just got a, a thing that I know for a fact is modded. I don't know about the poisoner's robe, but also I don't know about these. But this one is 100% modded armor. That I know for a fact. And uh, I need to equip this off video because I don't know how not safe for work it is. Because for, from what I'm reading here, this, this could be bad for YouTube. <laughs> you never know. Alright, I think... I know I said I would go into Goblin Stronghold, but I got distracted by... Well, <laughs> and I ended up fighting a bunch of spiders with a spider matriarch that is level 5. They all have teleport. Fucking phase spiders. Jesus. Alright, we do have that one amethyst. I am getting that one. Getting myself out of this well. And I think that is it for this video. Oh boy. Wonder how deep it goes. Wait, can this go lower? Does this go lower? Can I go lower? <laughs> uh, do I want to try? I'm gonna save before I try this. Hold up. Random jump. There we go. 
All right, before I inevitably die. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I mean the underdark. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he's dead though. But I am in the underdark. <laughs> um Yeah. Okay. Oh. A Minotaur. That is the Temple of Saluna, by the way. I know for a fact that's where <laughs> we go down. And that that's that's where we should be getting down through uh like a, a big hole in the ground. I'm not gonna spoil much on that one. But yeah, we are in the underground, under dark, through well and spider cave, we just dimension leaped all the way down here and died. I'm just gonna assume dimensional leap does not take consideration. Yeah, because it's 50 meters. This is probably way more than 50 meters, which is why we did. <laughs> but that was funny, bro. That was actually really funny. That was incredibly funny how that works. <laughs> Gale's just dead in the underdark. Alright. Um. Can I teleport Gale back here and save his ass? Well, technically yes, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll just load back. Oh my god, that was so funny. Oh. I need a name for the video just for that one leap specifically. <laughs> that was the funniest shit I've done so far. Oh my god. Okay, note to self, old dimensional leap through a basically black hole. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <sighs> okay. I need to get out of this hole. Wait, I can just teleport outside, no? Search the cellar, find the cellar. Was it not just there? Confusion. Hold up. Going back to the cellar. Most excellent. Okay. That is some weird game movement, but I'll take it. Going back to that cellar. We are close to ending the video. I'm not gonna be doing much anymore. So we're just going back to this. Cellar. Or... Have I been here? Judging by how we met Mama Spider here, I'm assuming we have never been in that way. Hmm. Alright, I'm ending the video after I fully explore this one big cave. Which is obviously modded content, because ain't no way... Ain't no way this is default. Okay, we are going the wrong direction. Ain't no way this is default, because we just got modded items from that big spider. Oh, there were more eggs! <clears throat> Excuse me while I blow these up. I got no EXP. Kind of annoying, actually. But there were even more phase eggs. Damn. That fight could have been way harder. If I did not have Gale, by the way. Whispering Depths. I'm sorry, there's a teleport here? What? Where? 
Let me just teleport there. Oh. <laughs> it's right here. Um, is there a ladder or something? Is there a ladder or something to take us to the Underdark? Question mark? Animal carcass? There's nothing here. Hold up. Can I go down there? Uh, no, I will die. Okay. I thought we could go down there. I'm gonna explore just a little bit, make sure I don't miss a ladder accidentally. I'm gonna turn these on just in case. Okay, I don't think there's any ladder here. But we have found the Whispering Depths. Now keep in mind, I do not remember this area being like this. If this were default game, I'm pretty sure we would have found some skeletons. Instead. But yeah, I don't think this is default. I'm sorry. I really think this is modded content, which is very much new. Huh. That is so cool, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm still moving with Gale, it's because I can dimensional leap where I need to be. Or when I where I wanna go rather. Oh, we got a cracked wall. Torment. What? Torment. All right, uh, Shadow Heart, do you still have a heal? Okay, I think it's time we short rest, finally, again. And this is another entrance to that. Huh. Another entrance to the cellar. Through the back. Am I that high? Jesus. Seek and you shall find me. Why are you not grouped? Why is my camera not here? There we go. Kurt was dimensional leap inside. Dalapore the party. And we have been here, but it's telling me to find the cellar. Am I not in the cellar? I'm guessing I'm not in the cellar. Hmm. Alright, uh, that was it for this video, I believe. Even though we could continue, do we want to go for the cellar? Let's try to find the cellar. Let's just go find this cellar. Let's make sure we have this unlocked just in case. I don't really know if I gotta click on them or not. There is a cellar somewhere around here. These gobbles do not attack. I'm assuming it's because of Saza. Let's find this cellar. Where are you at? Okay. Can I please equip my sword? Why do I have my sword unequipped though? That is so weird to me. Okay. I don't know. I had my sword unequipped. Okay, we are in the cellar. We have a potion of healing. Some ingredients. There's obviously traces of alchemy around here. Four more pots. Yeah! Got him. Okay, any spells in these books or something? Uh, ink? Nothing. 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 
Nothing. All right. Nothing. Open crate. Let's not take any gladiatorial stuff. Who? A lever. Behind boxes. Interesting. I think these are modded crates, which would mean... What exactly am I doing here, by the way? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Now I remember. I remember where we are. I remember where we are. Yes, yes. This is the part where um we would have technically come here through the water well, if I recall. I need torch. I can't see. Okay. And uh, we got a bunch of coffins. Moldering caskets. There's a bunch of skeletons in here. That I know for a fact. How do I know? Well, first of all, I've played through this. Also, if you check this, it's saying two, it's saying six, it's saying one, two. So there's at least one thing inside. And since they are moldering caskets, they kind of look like coffins. Okay. Yes, I will take that. Not Buster. <laughs> Pooh Scrapper. Nah. Friend? What? Let me smack this. Surely there's a skeleton at least in one of these. Yep. Yep, that's a big yes. He did, though. Double did. Let's see, 4 to 9. Is this better on a Starion? 5 to 10, 5 to 10. Nope, okay. Let's get going. All right, I would just go smack all of these, if you don't mind. Here we go. How did I not hit him, by the way? Confusion. Uh, no, let's not thunder wave. That was accidental. There we go. Smack him hard. For some reason, Gale is where he shouldn't be, but it's fine. Surely Sacred Flame works on this, no? Yeah, not really. Okay. I'll just try to push him down. Boom. Got him. Rip. <laughs> uh, uh, there's gotta be at least like one more or two more skeletons in this. Because ain't no way that's it. Yep, there we go. Smack him. Just do the dips. If you don't do this, they're probably just gonna walk around and wake up everybody. So, if you do this before they do that, that is way better. Just do it like this. I don't exactly recall the thing that they are doing. Ooh. Hold up. This is way better. Equip a Starion. That is way better. It's 27 range. This torch has proven to be very good right now, by the way. That is a lot of damage I am doing with the torch. Alright. Sneak. This is more damage. Also, being into medium range with a Starion does give you an extra hit. Because I am dual wielding right now. Let's read the Dark Journal. Okay, we don't really care right now about this. I thought we cared about this, but 
not really. We got one more coffin. Two more, rather. Hey, there's a bunch of skeletons inside here. Alright. Oh, it's moving. Never mind, it's dead. They tried. I'm gonna equip this onto Cremiel as well. And uh, I think... First of all, do I want this? We do have Ray of Sickness, but at the same time... We can't really cast it. I don't get my beauty sleep soon. I may just also, apparently I'm supposed to be using heavy armor, I think, but I don't have any. Azuth, the god of wizards. Hmm. Bane the Tyrant, the Black Hand. Bane. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we got one more. Two more. Let me clear these. Alright. Okay, thank you for actually dodging, though. Bro. Never a dull moment. Bye forever, pal. Okay, surely Karlak hits this. Thank you. We got a short sword. We don't care for that. One more. Is there anything up there? Doesn't seem like it. There we go, there we go. Oh, I almost hit him another one. What am I doing? Why am I in melee with Gale again? Bro. Come on. No, you know what? It's fine. I'll just get in close. You move, you did anyway. Alright. Another bow? There's a bunch of bows in here. Bunch of skelly boys. See, I thought this is the place I was in. I'll just drop these. And now this mirror could be a problem. Lazel leveled up somehow. Uh, I will go in with Will because I do recall this mirror kind of just being magical and wanting to talk to us. And since Will got a lot of charisma. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Warlock, Arcana, we can determine a lot of stuff. Let's see now. High roll, please. Yikes. Oh, we failed horribly. Roll again, please, high roll. Thank you. The magic is old and wavering, but you recognize it. The mirror is a thinking lock, hiding some secret. The face is crafted to be pleasing, but the personality is just a reflection of the wizard that created it. Speak your name. Okay. Uh, we do recall reading something about Thoth. Yeah, that that naming the book. Oh sh! Oh, oh, we we fucked up. Oh, we we fucked up. Hard. Never mind. Okay. Um, I, I will try this. Hopefully, we don't get smacked for it. Okay, Asterion likes this one. There is a pause. As those glass eyes take you in. Then. Oh! Where am I needed? 
I never thought this would actually work. So, if you fail here, what happens is this mirror will summon an orb. And this is all I'm gonna spoil. <laughs> Alright, that's all I'm gonna spoil. Because you've already seen me get rid of the skeletons. So that's already been spoiled. I'm not gonna tell you guys what happens if you fail there. All, the, all I'm gonna say is that the mirror summons an orb. Okay? Ooh, scroll of featherfall. We don't care for it, but I'll take it. There is an antidote somewhere. Lolt's candle. Alright, let's go read these research notes. Okay. Something about reanimation. Necromancy of Thigh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! Bracers of Defense. Plus two to armor class is huge, by the way. As long as you're not wearing armor or shield. You know what I, did, I uh, think we should do? Is remove Reason's Grasp. Or... Or, check who else is not wearing armor. Lovely day this, for now. Gale has no armor. His armor class is bad AF. Oh, I can press O. <laughs> to do that with the camera. Never mind. Hmm. I think I level up before I move forward with the other video. So I'm, I'm gonna level up at the end of this video, if you wanna see that, stick around. If not, well, you can probably just skip. Because I think that's all I'm doing right now, other than checking these chests. Uh, let's see, I said I am giving Gale the gloves, because those gloves are actually kinda good. We do need this uh, extra defense on him. The extra armor class. Since we got no armor, because it's only clothing, okay? We may spec into Bard with Gale, because I can make him a free healer, if you know what I mean. Just free heals for days. Just Bardic Inspiration and Heal at the same time, or Combat Gospel. Let me actually read these. Uh, plus the next attack roll or saving, mm, or armor class, okay. Combat Gospel and Bardic Inspiration. These sound good, if you know what I mean. All right, anything else in here? On death and resurrection, let's read. Church of the Near. Okay. Anything in the desk? Nope. Alright, I think... Oh, Devil's Eye. Let's read this too. Asterion, you're kind of in the way. Again, I'm only reading these because, well, first of all, information which you can use during combat. Or uh, during, uh, what's it called? Dialogue options. And then you can make use of those for maybe an achievement. You never know. High Artificial Thora Brin of Baldur's Gate. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm sometimes just throwing in an extra read. Okay, we've got a bunch of scrolls. I'll take it. You never know when those scrolls may actually be useful. Stuff to bear? I doubt a bear this size went down without a fight. Let's see nature. From Mysterion. But still young. 
Heavens help the hunter if its mother caught them. <laughs> okay. Some interesting dialogue. There is a lever there. What is this lever? Oh, a rusted key. Interesting. Oh, wait, hold up. Is this lever for this wall? It is. I've never found this before. Interesting. Huh. Well, let's go back to this other room. Because there's also a door there. Interesting. So, I, I will explore this. Before I move on with... Ooh. E what are you doing, bro? Sarion. <laughs> okay. Please disarm. You kind of just walked over it. I need to send the trap disarming tools and everything that is opening doors and such to a Sarion. Okay, I don't need to do this. I think I can open door. Yep. There's another trap? I might have missed it. Where exactly is the spell? Or did they fail the initial one? Ah. Ah! Okay, we got multiple spells in here. Uh, traps rather, not spells. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Necromancy of Tay. I also gotta disarm this gargoyle, because I don't know what's gonna happen if I don't. Watch yourself. I More Bro. How many traps are in there? Yeah, I think that was it. Jesus. Moment. Necromancy of Thai. Grab it, bro. The book is locked tight with no. Damn, reason. that's a fugly book, bro. Uh, I've never found this book in my first playthrough, by the way. So this is my first time seeing the Necromancy of Thai or Tav. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you. Hmm. Interesting. Beneath the allure, you feel the faintest echo of torment. There is great power in this book, but also great suffering. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out, where anyone could stumble across it. Okay. I will not drop the book. Amethyst in the slot on the book's cover. Sure, I will obviously do that. Yes. Yes. I need to figure out what this book is all about. Obviously about necromancy, but what else? What secrets do you hold? Hmm. Gale does not like this. Well, then again, I don't really care about what Gale thinks. Even though he is my damage dealer. Hmm, give the book to Astarion. I will not destroy the book. I don't necessarily want to give the book to Astarion either. Because I do not know if I could make use of this book or not. Gale does not like me giving the book to Astarion. Astarion, however, does does not care what Gale thinks. Hmm. Shadowheart doesn't seem to give a fuck. You know what? I will just tuck the book in my backpack for now. Looking ahead. Can I read? into the book's amethyst eyes you can almost hear a voice you just have to open the book oh my god and it will be yours forever that's one creepy book bro you 
feel the faintest echo of okay. the torment. There is great power in this book, but also great suffering. Yeah, I mean, I'm a nosebreaker. Please don't open the creepy book. Oh, Garlack. <laughs> Uh, that was funny, bro. Um, Starion is very much wanting this book. Do I give this book to a Starion or do I open it myself? He does not like me opening the book. Gail doesn't like either of these options, other than just putting it away. At the same time, I kind of just want to open the book. You know what? I will give the book to Asterion. Sure. It, Gale literally does not like us doing that, though. But it's fine. How come Will is the only one that hasn't leveled up? Damn, you are so close, dude. You are so close. I need you to kind of just do something to level up, bro. Why are you behind? Okay, I need to level up Will somehow. So I'm gonna just move with Will. See what else is here. There is a ladder that is very obviously taking us back. But then again... Um... I don't recall what that does. Might have opened something. Where is the wall? Was it this way? I do not remember. Uh, no. Actually, yes, it was. It was this way. We go out. And then... No, it was not this way. Wait, hold up. What? Confusion. Um... Where is that one room I have opened? There we go. I was literally just here. So we open this with the lever. There we go. Alright, there is ladder here. Which I think takes us back into one of those houses. I don't know what that lever does, but it's fine. Okay, let's grab garlic. Let's grab this. The Belladonna. The Weaver Moss. Because you never know when we make potions or something. Even though I have no need for them right now. What is this? Potion of Glorious Vaulting. Okay. Elixir of Poison Resist. That would have been good into spiders. I'm not gonna lie. Healer's Log. Bro, I, that was not what I was trying to do. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. Something on extracting potions or something. Or poison. Let's touch lever. Oh, my. What? Oh. Oh, I have been here, no? Yes, I've gone around. Around the world, around the world. Is there any way I can level up Will, like now? Jesus, I need 17 experience. How do I gain that? <laughs> I just go kill a random goblin or something. I do want him to level up before I end the video. Come on. Just go kill a random gobble with the with will. It will happen. Let's read Apothecary's ledger. Keep away from prying eyes. Alright, we don't care. Healer's log though. We accidentally picked that up. Patient, patient, patient. Malady. Okay, we don't care. Let's Drop this book. We don't need it. Extract. Rule of uh, the three. 
the cellophane. This video is way longer than what I'm usually doing, but it's fine. Still got time. I'll take the water, the water, some antidotes. Okay. A laculite. Don't you find those in Underdark? Hmm. Alright, where is one goblin when you need it? Ah. Got him. Alright. Uh, I do want to smack him, because I want to level the party properly. So, we will do just that. They will not like me for it. There's a couple more up there. I'm gonna ungroup. I'm gonna dimensional leap over there. You already know where this is going. <sighs> no, I did not ungroup. Bad. Very bad. Okay. Come on, dudes. What are you doing? Why did you not ungroup when I clicked ungroup? It's fine. You already know where this is going. I'ma push these mariakas off. I'ma push them off so hard. Okay. And we are entering. Okay. Yeah, I don't care for that one down there. I'm gonna smack these goblins just because I can. And the way we do it is easy. I'm just do this so they can't run away. Just in case we randomly fail. <laughs> I am over preparing for four goblins, but it's fine. And they are very much under leveled. It's fine. I can just enter turn base here and do this, and they just... They just drop. Boom. Rip. Oh, there's one more down there. I did not even know. Huh. Alright. Let me just move here so... Guy can't randomly hit me. Or... Whatever you are. This person. Surely you cannot hit me from over there. Mother Yucker, what? Can't give up ah. Yeah, I will just go and smack you. Because I can. And I th you know what? It's fine. It's still fine. Bro. You only took... Okay, I thought you only took 5 damage from that. I was getting worried. Okay. Okay, they are... There are way more gobbles than I thought there would be here. <clears throat> but it's fine. I'll just do this. Make sure this booyak can't move. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. I just used offhand melee and I did 10 damage. Confusion. We're doing this. Hopefully Will gets enough to level up off of this one. Yeah, I'll just... I'll just do this. Sure. Ooh, that's a lot of HP lost. Let's not do that one. 
I did kind of fail at preparing for this, but it's fine. It's fine, they're weak. That said, I do need to get better at preparation in general. I'll just Eldritch Blast. Surely you level up off of this one. I actually think I just heal with Lazel. And we don't really care. Because this other gobo is probably gonna get smacked. How much HP you got? Alright, surely Gale can handle this, no? Surely. With four? Yeah. Alright. And we still can't level up... Ha, huh, bro. I'm sorry, I got no HP for that? No XP? Why? Man, the only reason I even killed them was the EXP. That's cringe. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just... I'll just have to do it without the, the leveling on Will. He fell behind somehow. Not sure. Not sure. Why are you not... With the extra mage armor on you? Okay, we got 17 now. Is there a way to level him up? Because apparently just smacking goblins is not it. Hmm. Pandeliers packed. Uh, Y'all can just pause the video if you want to read, by the way. Saloon, Kalimbor, okay, just something about gods. Okay, let's go see if we can smack a goblin. Surely, if I 1v1. <sighs> to fight brother i don't care i'm gonna smack you i will leave you to one of you on oh my god <laughs> that is potentially really bad <laughs> oh, okay Okay. I was... Where's my teleport? Yeah, he did. He did. It's fine. It was a little bit unexpected, but it's fine. That one goblin that's level 2 did so much damage. What the hell? Okay, he finally leveled up. Jesus. All I needed was him to die. I just needed him to come solo and die. <laughs> oh my god, alright, we're leveling the party up. It's time. It's time. Alright. If y'all want to see the actual Goblin Stronghold, um, head on over to the next video. If not, uh, for right now what we are doing is leveling up the party. So for the next maybe half an hour, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna level the party up. Okay, we're getting some new spells. Darkening Smite. A bonus action that's melee and creates darkness for three turns. Interesting. Wraith form? What the flip? Hello? And this is always prepared, but it's a level 2 spell. Uh... They are all level 2 spells, bro. Oath spells. 
but I'm an old breaker. Can I still use these? I think I can. I become resistant to non-magical damage. So that's basically anything that is melee and doesn't do a double hit with magic, I think. What does non-magical even mean? They need to... Is psychic magical damage, for example? Oh, wow. There's a lot of new stuff in here. Okay, why are the spells doubled? Okay, we don't touch these. My spells are doubled for some reason. We don't touch these, though. Let's see, see invisibility, not found. Hmm. We don't care about arcane lock. We don't care about darkness if I have the other one. Acid, not really. Uh, what I do care about is maybe getting some melee stuff in that does not use my wisdom and such. I think I remove Ray of Sickness and I put in some two Darkness spells. I do have Dark Vision, no? Yes. Okay. I was really hoping I would get a double strike or a double hit or something, but maybe that's a feat and I don't have it. Okay, I think this is it. They're both, uh, what's it called, bonus actions, but one silences, the other creates darkness. I feel like they are very good. Also, we have this. But if I got this, do I need this? That's a concentration spell and I could maybe not do that. If I got Darkening Smite, I don't really need actual darkness. I could use Sea Invisibility. I know for a fact this is gonna be very good at some point. It's not concentration, and it's until long rest. It's also just a normal action. Oh my. I don't really want to get rid of Chilling Smite, but... I think Dissonant Whisper is the one I gotta remove. Yeah, I think this one I have to remove. The reason I have to remove this is because I kind of just have fear in my build by default with the the mark or whatever. I think I do this and where was it again? I I just take C invisibility. Yeah. Cuz I know for a fact there are a bunch of NPCs that just use invisibility and it's very cringe. Very cringe and kind of hard to deal with. If I remove Chilling Smite and I use Shadow Blade, it's concentration though. But this one I think uses my stuff, which I do not have, because I yeah, I just I'll just do this. I'll just do this. We're going for Shadow Blade. Hmm. Alright, Shadow Heart. Let's see. You got something useful for me this time, I hope. Beacon of Hope is very cool. But I don't think I use that. I definitely do not need that one. Spirit Guardians is broken. I know for a fact I get this one. Because that does a lot of damage. Okay. And that's just very cool. You cast Sanctuary. And then you cast Spirit Guardian. Or the other way around. Okay, that's broken. Trust me. 
Or I just shield the fate, uh, forge thing on my AC boost, and then just cast Spirit Guardian. And it's still broken. I don't exactly know if uh, this counts as doing damage. And if it breaks Sanctuary though. But at the same time, if I got enough AC, I don't care for Sanctuary. <clears throat> hmm. Protection from energy. Could be good. Could be good, but it's not. You can restore vitality as a bonus action to heal yourself or nearby allies. Oh my. Warden of Vitality is good. That is very cool, bro. Wait, I can use bonus as a bonus action without the need of a... Sp Wait. Are my spells free now? Damn! So, we are just destroying on that now. Blinding Smite. This is strong. Elemental weapon. Oh my god. We got a... Okay. We got a couple good stuff. Let's see Spirit Shroud. <clears throat> Necrotic Radiant Cold. It's three die. But it's a one die for each. If it was three die each though, Jesus. <laughs> that might have been a little bit too broken. In part on death. What? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Hold up. Hold up. So if you read this. If I read this correctly, this means I could make Kremiel basically undead. And I heal myself at the end of each turn. Judging by my constitution modifier, and the constitution modifier is pretty high on Kremiel if I recall. And another 25% of my max HP on Kremiel, which is like 40 something right now, or 50. Provided I'm not downed. I also revive with one hit point if I'm dead outside of combat. That is cool. That is cool. I'm not gonna lie. I could learn that one, just for Kremiel. Because that would definitely just kind of make Kremiel of... Uh, yeah, just something strong. Rapify. Uh, Revivify, rather. Revivify is a good one. I'm not gonna lie. Everything became an action? Do I not use spells anymore? I'm confused. I am very confused. Shadowheart is afraid of wolves, by the way. I am very confused. I need to figure out. Do I not use spells? Medium Armor Master. I got that when I leveled up as a, a feat. Do I not use spells anymore? Because everything seems to be an action and it doesn't tell me if I use action or not. Sacrifice your life. You take 432 necrotic damage. I could necro myself and use this. And whenever I use this, if I am doing necrotic damage, technically, necrotic damage would heal me. Um. <laughs> Damn, hold up. Hold up, Shadowheart got some interesting shit right now. Hmm.
But doing necrotic damage to heal myself is kind of weird. I'm not even sure if that actually works. I am just assuming necrotic damage would heal an undead. I'm just assuming here because spells would interact with me differently. Or so they say in this tooltip. Do I take import on death? I'm not sure. I think I remove healing word though, and I get mass healing word, because yeah. I think I remove sanctuary. And I get uh Warden of Vitality. I kinda have too many level 3 spells though. Hmm. Do I have three level three spells? How can I check? You get two level three spell slots. I have way too many level three spells at this point, I believe. Why do I have so many, bro? I kind of need Spirit Guardian because I feel like it's very cool, very good. And anytime anybody is in melee with me, they just take damage. I think I remove Prayer of Healing. Uh, these level 3 spells are busted, bro, but I can't take them all. I could take Animate on that. I really just feel like I take Valkarana's Lesser Skeliport. Uh, not Skeliport, uh, Import on that. And to make them. Make, make Kremi yell. Just undead, basically. Create food and water. I have unlimited camp supplies with this. Basically, but I would always waste, <laughs> always waste the thing. Or I, I could get Beacon of Hope. Beacon of Hope, Warden of Vitality. And I don't have three of those heals though. I can Beacon of Hope and Mass Healing. Let's see, where is Restore Vitality? So if I use this... Do I gain Restore Vitality? Yes, I do. Also, this is a bonus action. The question is, does it use spell slots? Because it does not say. Uh, I may have to respec at some point. But currently I feel like this is this is the nuts. Immune to disease and poison. Additionally they get hit points equal to their constitution every turn. At the start of every turn. Do you understand how broken this could be? I'm sorry, I have to remove Prayer of Healing and just get the import on death and touch Kremiel with that real quick to see what it does. I may have just done a mistake by taking this, but it's fine. I may have too many high level spells though, I have 1, 2, level 2. 1, 2, 3... Man, it's very annoying to have to decide. I think I'd remove mass healing, actually. And do I put back prayer of healing? Or... If I make Kremiel undead and I Valkrana's corpse grenade Kremiel... <laughs> Does that even work? Yeah, 
Y you know what? Just for the hells of it, do I try that? Because necrotic damage would technically heal Kremiel if I am understanding how this works. You know, I'll try Volcana's course grenade, sure. Alright, I need to move faster. Oh, what is that? I need to move faster. I got 12 minutes. Uncanny dodge, cunning strike. Okay, decent. And exsanguinating strike. Does necrotic bleeding and severe bleeding. Jesus, okay. Okay, Astarion. Alright, Karlak, you got something? Let's see. Extra, let's go. And we got Legacy of Avernus, I'll take it. That extra is definitely what I need though. Okay, what is this class feature? Deep and packed, extra attack. Okay. The pact of the chain is familiar. Uh, I do not use a familiar. Gain the spell. Damn! Okay, hold up. <clears throat> um, Grand Flight is a good one. Thunderstep! Ah! Oh wait, this could be cool though. It doesn't push, but it does do damage where I was. Sh Someone shadow spawn. Ooh. Ooh. 8d6? Jesus, what the fuck? 8d6, 8 to 48 damage. Okay. Okay. Hunger of Hadar. Mm. No, we don't touch that one. Another import on death. Yeah, let's not let's not take two. Okay, we don't we don't do that. Even though it's maybe good. Uh, these other ones I'm not gonna touch. So I am thinking. I'm thinking between. First of all, I don't really care about Spirit Shroud. Uh, Thunderstep is cool, but no. I'm thinking Fireball. Uh, fear is interesting. But it's on a single target. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm thinking uh, Fireball. Or Shadow Spawn. Shadow Spawn would mean an extra party member, technically. Fireball is just mean, bro. 8d6. I wish I could take two spells. But I feel like I just need the shadow spawn. So, I don't recall if we have armor. Fiendish Vigor. I can basically always just give myself extra HP. Huh. I think I just take Fiendish Vigor. I would give myself armor of shadows, but I think we have medium armor. Or light. I don't think these are clothes. Unless Bestow Curse is good. It uses a spell slot. I'm not gonna take that. Beast Speech is interesting, but I'm pretty sure Karlak got something similar. Or just that. 
Proficiency in Deception and Persuasion. Do I not have that? Do I take Beguiling Influence? Or do I take Fiendish Vigor? I could always just cast False Life. Ah, I use a spell slot. Never mind! <laughs> okay, we are switching this because it's very low range. I'll take the Misty Step even though I don't technically need it. I don't think I need Darkness. But I'll just switch this one. With Fireball, maybe. That one gives me just a summoned shadow spawn. And if I do this... If I do this... Uh, oh, Siphon Life Force, Vampiric Touch, interesting. Uh, if I do this, then I get Fireball, no? I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure I get Fireball instead of Burning Hands and I still get to keep Summon Shadow Spawn. Okay. Alright, Lazel, Fighter. You get an extra attack that I know. But what else do we get? A replace spell. Oh, we get Misty Step by default. Interesting. So everybody can just teleport. <laughs> because why not? Mm, Chromatic Orb has proven not to be all that useful so far. But I may keep it. Do I take Tasha's? It's a concentration spell, which I do not like. But at the same time, it puts somebody prone. And it's 10 turns of having to use... Uh, let's see. Is it constitution? No, it's strength and dexterity. Uh, hold up. What do they gotta use? Do they have to use intelligence? Do I take Ice Knife? Or do I keep Thunder Orb? Ah, dilemma, dilemma. I think I just take Tasha's Hideous Laughter. And I... Uh, I remove Chromatic Orb. Or I keep Chromatic Orb and I remove Thunder Punch. You know what, I think... I think I keep Chromatic Orb and remove Thunder Punch. The reason is because this one's melee, this one's ranged, and it's just better utility overall. I think this is the play, and I'll just take Tasha's for... the prone, which is actually kinda broken if it doesn't fail. And we don't necessarily need to go into melee. Okay. I gained level 3 spell slots. Now this is where Gale, I believe, is gonna be Omega Broken. Because technically everything is free. Oh my god. <laughs> this is an 84. But we have Fireball. Fire Cyclone. Jesus. Flash Freeze. Now, I'm definitely taking the 8 dice. This and this, probably. But at the same time, I need to see the others. This is a 3d6. 10 turns, a Cyclone of Weeping Flames. Uh, my question is... It doesn't say, but this is modded, obviously. My question is, would this be... Uh, something with HP, because then I would have another target for people to hit. Six Meteors. Mm, nah. Vortex Blast. Okay. Uh, if I get a replace spell, I may just replace Thunderweave with Vortex Blast, but we'll see. Sleet Storm. Okay. Yeah, I think this is it. 
We don't care about anything else. Dragon flames from feet. Explosive speed. Yeah, we don't care about this, but it's an interesting one. Antagonize would be cool. Hmm. I I could make people just hit each other. Or I could just do a lot of damage straight up. Oh my god, free short rest. Oh my god, that's a free short rest. Counterspell is nice, but a free short rest? I am uh, very much obviously keeping the fireball. It is way more damage and I'm getting the free short rest. This is broken. Because I get free short rest for the entire party. Because Gale just doesn't use spell slots with Dimension Traveler subclass, or class rather. Yeah, and I think next level, unless I get something extremely broken again, uh, I may just go into Bard and just turn him into a healer, but we'll see. Imagine being a healer as well, just buffer healer damage dealer. <laughs> no, we don't do that. Okay. Uh, I am removing this one. That is bad. I'm definitely taking that one. I think I remove Grease at this point. Or Fog Cloud. And just take Catnap. Yeah, just the play. Okay. Alright, I barely just finished this exactly as I gotta end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, this is a Charisma save. Will this turn my weapon into a Charisma using uh, attack? When you use the Sword of Targers in the Light of Darkness, you make the attack roll. If this uses my Charisma... If, you, if this uses my Charisma, that is gonna be so bad for me. Let's just use this and see what happens. Because I kind of... I think I kind of just... Uh, I do have free short rests with Gale, though. You now, let's see. First of all, let's check my blade. 6 to 20. 2d8 plus 4. Damn! Okay. But, again, it's 10 turns. So, I should have used this in combat. But I really wanted to check this one out. Okay. I really wanted to check this one out. It's gonna break soon, but damn, I wish I could keep this permanently. Also, I can see invisibility, because why not? Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, next time, we do actually go inside the Goblin Stronghold, and we deal with that nonsense. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time.